In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a project from a list of documents. Select Project in the menu at the top of the screen and scroll down to New. A dialog box appears with four options. We'll choose the first option, Create a Project from a List of Documents or Images. Choose a folder that contains the documents that you'd like to import from the left-hand side of the dialog box. The file types available for import are listed in the File Type field. This includes doc, docx, html, text, powerpoint, just to name a few, as well as graphic files, jpeg, png, etc. Move the files that you'd like to import to the field at the bottom of the dialog box. There are a number of ways that this can be done. You can do this by selecting the files individually and adding them, or selecting multiple files at the same time. You can remove a file from the list of files to be imported by clicking on it and then pressing the Remove button. You can also import the entire contents of a folder, including subfolders, by selecting the folder in question and then clicking the Import button below. A Searching for Files dialog box appears. We have the option to include the subfolders. You also can choose the file types which you'd like to include in your import. Confirm that you'd like to import the files by pressing Yes. We can see that all the files to be imported have been added to the bottom panel of the dialog box. Press Create. An Importation Options dialog box appears. This allows you to import the file location or the creation date and time as variables if you choose. It also allows you to remove the images or the text formatting. This will make your files smaller and in turn make your project faster. If you're importing images, you can import the geolocation and different tags and metadata. You can do so by clicking the options in question. As we're not importing images, these options have been grayed out. Once you're done, select OK. You're now asked to create a name for your project and save it in a location of your choosing. I'm going to save it on the desktop and I'm going to name my project GOP Debates. Once done, hit save. Your files will be imported and your project will be created. Each of the documents have been imported as an individual case. The cases are organized in a list structure under the names of the folders that were imported. The variables that were created upon importation are file, the name of the file, location, the name of the folder that the original document was located in, this can be used later for analysis, created, which was the creation date and time, and the document variable itself. You can now start creating your codebook and coding your document variable.